Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is part 16th of Python tutorial course using Jupyter Notebook. In this tutorial, I will show you how to insert records in Python using stored procedures. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before watching this tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python tutorial course. You will get the playlist at the end of this video tutorial. Now let's continue the today's tutorial how to insert records into the student table using stored procedures in Python. I'm using PHP my admin database which is my SQL. So before writing the stored procedure first let's check the table name is a student table. Right now this table contains some records around 16 records we have in this table right now. And this student table I have created in this new DB database, this database new DB. Now let's create a new stored procedure. If you notice in this new DB there is a procedures folder, select that one. Now let's create a stored procedure, click add routine. Let's give a proper name for this stored procedure insert student record is a stored procedure name and if you notice the type is a procedure which is a stored procedure and the third one is a parameters which contains a direction in because I am inserting the records the name I am giving the variable is student name and the data type is a varchar and the length is 150 and the second parameter is a student email in my student table I have three columns student ID student name and student email the student ID column is the auto generate column so I'm not adding here where the student email also and the size the length of this data type is 150 and let's give the definition begin and insert into the student table is a table name and the column names are student name we have to give the exact column names what we have defined in the table so student email let's check again student name and student email and the values we are getting the values from these variables student name comma student email and with the semicolon click go and here we got a message the insert record has been created the stored procedure has successfully created if you notice here the insert student record now let's write the coding part in python I'm using Jupyter Notebook and all the files I'm saving in this Python tutorials folder. So let's create a new notebook, Python 3, and give a proper name for this notebook. Uh, insert record store procedure. Rename. So now let's continue the coding part here. When we're dealing with a particular database, we need to install the the database packages. Here I am using MySQL which is PHP MyAdmin database. So first let's install uh, pip install MySQL client click run and here we got a message requirement already satisfied and below that we got a note you may need to restart the kernel to use updated packages. So let's do that one kernel restart. Click restart button. So once I restart the kernel, next step, let's import my SQL DB. DB is a small letters. Once I import this my SQL DB package from this my SQL client, then I'm declaring a variable to connect my database. So my SQL 
db dot connect method and this connect method takes four parameters one is the host name which is the local host and the second parameter is the username of my PHP my admin database which is root and the third parameter is a password I don't have any password so I'm leaving blank and the last one is a database name so our database name is new db database let's copy this one this is a new db database so once we got the connection strings then we need to execute our stored procedure so for that I'm using the cursor method let's declare a variable to execute the cursor execute cursor is equals to db dot cursor method then we need to call the stored procedure from this database so execute cursor method dot call prc proc which is I'm calling the procedure and this call procedure takes a stored procedure name between double quotes our stored procedure name is uh, insert record let's copy this one the stored procedure name comma and this procedure takes two variables um, let's open this one edit student name and student email here so the student name and student email I'm adding um, I'm adding the widgets so let's import import IPY widgets as widgets then student name is a variable input enter student name is a label student email is equals to input enter email let's give some gap now let's call these variables yeah comma and the next parameter is a student email copy this one and paste here then last step print and here I'm adding a record student name is saved successfully that's it we have done the complete coding part now let's run this code run so here we got a prompt enter student name I'm adding um, Aaron AR at gmail.com So before insert this record, let's check in our database uh, student table. Let's close this one. Student table. Right now, this student table contains 16 records, and the last record is con. Let's enter, and here we got a message: record Aaron is saved successfully let's check in the database table I'm browsing the table again let's check see here the add-on that's it